being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. usual before we get started don't forget to smash that subscribe button yes smash that subscribe button and most importantly smash that like button if you like this video and you want to become part of the Mayday family so recently as you guys will know especially if you are subscribed to my channel I just made a video on how to make $2,000 in one week and in that video I list a couple of ways in which I have experience uh, actually making this amount of money in a week and sometimes even less depending on how well business is going and I did receive a couple of comments on that video and just a, a couple of people spreading a lot of negativity underneath that video in that video so I decided to make another video which is this video addressing that in this particular video we're going to be talking about lazy people I don't make videos for people that are like lazy people or people that don't feel like putting in the work for what they want or um, you know aren't open-minded or open to to new ideas or trying new things and so and when I post videos I try my best to make sure that I'm posting from my experiences and being as openly candid and um, versatile as I possibly can now I'm not surprised at the negativity I did have a lot of positive feedback as well from that video but I had quite a bit of negative feedback that I wasn't expecting now of course with me deciding to come on YouTube and talk to you guys and actually um, become a part of the YouTube community a lot of people and a lot of opinions come with that in response to the previous video that I made when I made that video on how to make two thousand dollars a week those are legit ways to make two thousand dollars a week or more those are honest ways to actually do it you can't necessarily just like sleep on the couch and make that kind of money i had a few people say oh you can make money from like doing surveys but you can't make up to two thousand dollars a week by just doing surveys i at least I've never experienced it. I, the, my experience has been with other forms of, 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 that do require a little bit more uh, energy and input in order to do it, but that work. So I, those are that's what I wanted to share with people, where my experience is and what actually works. Because um, in doing this, then you're able to build a better life for yourself. A lot of people tend to be lazy when it comes to their dreams and when it comes to actually pursuing what it is that they want. And so they use the excuse of, oh, it's too good to be true, it can't be true, but it doesn't make sense for you to say it's too good to be true because nothing is impossible. I truly am someone who believes that. I get people that come up to me all the time and they ask me about this or they ask me how I did that and they want to do it. For example, I work out and I work out on a daily basis and people come up to me and ask me, well, how do you do it? Or what do you do? Or how do you stay fit? Or what's, what, what type of foods do you eat? Things like that. And usually, I gravitate more towards motivational speaking so a lot of times I say things to motivate them and kind of help them get going but what I found is 99% of people are actually not willing to do what it takes to get what it is that they want because of that 99% of people are kind of stuck in 
a zone of being realistic. I hate for this video to sound like a rant because it's really not. This video is kind of meant primarily to motivate you guys and to kind of let you know what's going on. Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you want to be realistic? There's no reason to be realistic. If you want to truly be successful and you really want to pursue your goals and you want to pursue your dreams, then you have to be unrealistic. All successful people are unrealistic. Not just unrealistic to a certain degree, they are massively unrealistic. A number of years ago, we would have never even been able to conceive the thought that, that we'd be able to walk in a room and flip a switch and light would come on. We wouldn't have been able to conceive that. But thankfully, there was someone who was unrealistic enough, who had an unrealistic enough mentality to actually bring that into reality. A couple of years ago, we also would have never dreamt that like we would have this piece of metal that we'd be able to shape and bend in a certain type of way and there we go, we're able to fly through the sky. But fortunately, Wright brothers and others didn't think so. The Wright brothers and others were very unrealistic and now we have planes and we're able to travel everywhere. So important to be unrealistic. One of the people that I truly look up to is Will Smith and a lot of these things come from him. Why would you want to be realistic? There's no sense and there's no point in being realistic. It's almost like a waste of time being realistic. If you have a dream, then you want to be unrealistic. Be as unrealistic as possible. You have to be, there's a certain madness that you have to have and there's a certain craziness that successful people have in order to be successful. They, it's almost like, it's almost like they're crazy. It's almost like um, they're unrealistic. <laughs> successful people tend to be uh, very unrealistic and therefore, ironically, it leads to them being successful. They have to believe and you have to believe that something different than what has been happening for the past who knows however many years that something different can happen. You have to believe that. You have to be unrealistic. Guys, if you think about that, $2,000 a week is actually not that much money. But the, in the ways that I explain in that video, you actually do have to put in at least a little bit of time and at least a little bit of effort in order to make those things happen and to get those things started. And what I think happens is in today's day and age, a lot of people are looking for easy, the easy way out. And the problem with that for me is that I don't know or have any easy ways in which you can make money. I just don't really have any in which you can make that amount of money. All of the ways in which I make my money and that I've made my money do require a certain level of work and do require a certain level of effort and learning and growing and being unrealistic. The negative people that um, saw that video and wanted to kind of spread negativity, that, that's what I have to say is, uh, first of all, on my channel, it's nothing but positivity. I'm in counseling. I mean, I have to remain positive and clear-minded and this channel is nothing but positivity and so I just wanted to make a follow-up video because I know a lot of people think in this way and they see those type of things and they're like oh no there's no way till you start doing it and you see that it's actually possible it's quite amazing like you couldn't even conceive it because you'd never done it before and you didn't think it was possible but what you don't think is possible is actually the most possible thing there is so i you know that's how i feel motivating you guys to to pursue your dreams pursue your goals and be the best versions of yourselves that you could possibly be it's never going to be telling you guys to be realistic because i don't believe in that i don't believe in being realistic i'm all about being unrealistic to the maximum degree. Bringing that from 
the unrealistic to the realistic. Being lazy, from my experience, doesn't get you anywhere, right? And uh, that's the perception that I get and that I got from these people that were being so negative about the video that I put out uh, saying that how could this work or questioning it. Those are all suggestions that work but you can't be lazy in trying to do those and that's just the simple fact of it. You put in some time and you put in some effort whether it's just your free time that you have or uh, you decide to take it on full time. Alright guys, well that's all I have for you today. I'm so glad and so happy that you guys decided to join me today. I'm really, really excited for the rest of the week. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Of course, as always, I love you. Subscribe to this channel. Comment below. And I'm looking forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye-bye.